Good afternoon, Quahog. Our top story, price wars are heating up between all of the major airlines and even a couple of the little crashy ones. We now go live to Trisha Takanawa with more on the story. Wow, Peter, did you hear that? Low airfares. Why don't we take a trip? We never go anywhere anymore. We're getting stagnant. What are you talking about? We go places. We took that helicopter tour at Tucson. Peter, I'm talking about real travel. We can finally afford to go somewhere good. Joe and Bonnie went to Europe and had the time of their lives. Hey, I know a place you can go, Lois. Hell, there, I said it. Now shut your mouth. Lois, I hate traveling. Besides, my passport picture was awful. Ugh, you look like a human cigarette. But it's not just about you, Peter. Think about the family. That's right, and I'm gonna prove it to you. I got more culture in my pinky toe than all of Europe put together. <laughs> Oh my God! I got ringworm too, but it's not classy like this. Okay, kids, now this is the Quahog Museum of Science, a magical place of cultural exploration. <laughs> now, one thing that makes us more cultured than our European counterparts is high school football. And why are we standing here in the parking lot? Because sometimes your team loses and you have to beat up the ref. <laughs> <laughs> What part of Eatonville you from, huh? What part of Eatonville you from? Oh, West Eatonville. Oh, really? West Eatonville? Do you know Bob Hanley? I'm Bob Hanley. Listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. It's okay. Thanks for the flowers. Oh, it's the least I could do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You gotta meet my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about you, sir. Everyone, I've got a surprise. Whoa, I did not see that coming. No, Chris, I haven't said it yet. Today was the last day of the low airfares, and I couldn't let the opportunity pass, so... I got us tickets to Italy! That's amazing, Mom. Lois, is Peter okay with us? I already bought the tickets. Tickets for what? Uh, uh, tickets for the, um, the grand opening of the biggest water park in all of Rhode Island. Hmm. Well, pardon my skepticism, Lois, but I didn't read about this in the latest issue of Water Park Enthusiast Weekly. That, that this new park would put all other water parks out of business. Typical big water. Always keeping the public in the dark. So this one's bigger than Raging Waters? Yeah, Dad, it's way bigger. But it can't be bigger than Six Flags Atlantis. Oh, it is, Peter. It is, because it's Seven Flags Atlantis. <gasps> That's a whole flag more of water. Get in the car! Okay, everyone put the sunblock on now, so when we get off the plane, we go right to the park. Wait, why are we on a plane? Peter, we're not going to a water park. We're going to Italy. What? Well, what about Seven Flags Atlantis? Peter, don't be silly. There's no such place. This is your captain speaking. If you look out the left side of the airplane, you'll see the very popular Seven Flags Atlantis. Aww. I can't believe you tricked me into going to Italy. Peter, our family could use a trip like this. Plus, it might be good for you and me, too. It's the most romantic country in the whole world. And God knows we could use a little romance in our marriage. Did you like that game of mysterious intruder, Lois? I told you, I don't know who you are. And my name isn't Lois. Mine is. Let's do it again. Is it true there's no drinking age here? And they serve wine at every meal? Oh, Meg, nobody likes a drunky chunky. In college, a lot of guys are gonna make you a dare. Hey, you know what, guys? We're six hours ahead here. I'm gonna call Joe and tell him the future. Hey, Joe, guess what's about to happen? Who is this? It's Peter. That's impossible. Peter died six hours ago. <gasps> we can't go back. Look, kids, this is the forum where the ancient Romans used to have their famous political debate. And this is the penthouse forum where dirtbags write letters about boning in the back of grocery stores. Well, who wants to see where the ancients established the foundation of our American democracy? And who wants to hear a story about a girl who moved to New York without any underpants? Peter, the kids are going to the Italian circus, so... I thought it might be romantic if we watched the sunset from St. Peter's Basilica. You go ahead. I'm going to stay here and get frustrated with this non-responsive hotel TV remote. Come on. Guide. I'm pressing guide. Stupid remote's not doing anything. Peter, you can't just sit in front of the TV the entire vacation. You know, I'm really getting tired of you being such a complete stick in the mud. Is that some kind of gay slur? I can't believe it's too much for you to watch a sunset with your wife in one of the most romantic cities in the world. 
But you know what? It's probably for the best because you just complain about it. Well, what do you expect, Lois? I didn't want to come here in the first place. I'd rather be back home. Fine. You just sit here on the couch. I'll go enjoy Italy without you. God, what the hell's her problem? You know, sometimes I think you forget how lucky you are to have Lois. Otherwise, you, you wouldn't be acting like such a jerk. Oh, I'm getting it from you now? Don't worry about Lois. Well, you might want to look out there. What the hell's she doing with that Italian guy? Let me give you a tour on a de Vespa. I show you all of the things I do all day that make me smell like this. Hey, Lois, what the hell's going on here? Uh, we're just having fun, Peter. Something you know nothing about. Oh, man, she really is upset. Having lady problems, are you, pal? Dean Martin? What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. Well, you're in Italy, ain't you? I think so. I, I haven't been paying attention. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna ride this rigatoni into the sky. Hey, get away from him! Peter, you okay? What happened? I was watching you from the window. When Lois pulled away on that motorcycle, you laid down on the ground and went to sleep. Well, I'm awake now, Brian, and I know what I gotta do. Well, before you do anything, for God's sake, put some clothes on. Brian, calm down. In some countries, this is a compliment. What the hell? Mi amore! I am here to put you on a pedestal with Italian romance. Peter, showing up here in that stupid costume isn't gonna win me over. That's because you lack the passion of a true Italian. Mi amore! Mm -hmm. Peter, stop it! Well, by the laws of Italy, I must now kiss myself passionately. Pina, are you all right? Are you kidding? I'm great! Bouncing around Italia, cause I'm a little ball. Pina, put me down! Lois, to prove my love, I have convinced 20,000 soccer fans to hold up a romantic message just for you. Okay, I'll admit it. This is pretty romantic. Listen, Lois, I'm sorry for being such a jerk, all right? I love you. I want to have your baby. Pina, not on a boat. Pina. Wow, Pina, last night was the best sex I've ever had. Me too. I wish we never had to leave. Well then, let's not. Let's live here. What? Pina, but, but we've built a life back in Quahog. Yeah, but you were right, Lois. We were stagnating back home. Let's start a new life right here in Italy. Peter, those were our passports. We don't need them anymore. Kids, I got an announcement. He's wearing a rubber. We're staying in Italy. We're Italian now. What? Are you kidding? Hey, Peter, what's your rush? I got the most beautiful woman in the world at home, and I no want to keep her waiting. Hey, Vincenzo, play me a tune, huh? Ah, Italy. It's 9 a.m., and I've already kissed eight guys twice. Why are you looking at the other babies, huh? Why are you making me do that, Ruperto? I don't want to do that. Peter, I know you love it here, but riding your bike around town isn't paying the bills, and the kids aren't learning anything at that Italian school. I think maybe it's time to go back to our real home in Quahog. But I thought you loved Italy, and Italian Peter, and Southern Italian Peter. Olive oil! I do, but I love American Peter even more. Lois is right. We're barely surviving here. I mean, you have to give most of what you earn to the mafia that terrorizes this village. <laughs> oh, certo. La compagnia vi rimborserà, ma sarà un'impresa. Ci sono tantissime pratiche, documenti da fermare, e sarà sempre come se non ti credono per tutto il tempo. Peter, I think it's time we all go back home. <sighs> of course we have to leave as soon as I get an Italian boyfriend. You know, I still don't understand what he does for a living. He gathers coins from the air by jumping on mushrooms. What's so hard to understand? So, you see, Mr. Consulate, all we want to do is get back to our home in America. So can we have our new passports now? Mr. Griffin, it's not as simple as that. Your family must take a citizenship test and go through the immigration process like any other foreigner. Foreigner? We're not foreigners. Sorry, Mrs. Griffin. Not only did you destroy your passports, you renounced your citizenship.
All right, Meg, part of being an American citizen is having an opinion on certain hot-button political issues. Now, what is your abortion stance? Uh, it's pretty much this. Now, if you will, please sing the national anthem of the United States. Oh, say can you see twilight's last gleaming in the Okay, I've reviewed your application. Now, where you listed employment, some of you wrote Family Guy and others wrote The Family Guy. Which one is it? Uh, it's Family Guy. All right, now that you've completed your initial application, it will need to be filed by an immigration lawyer at a cost of approximately $5,000 per person. And assuming that all goes through, you should have your citizenship back in 16 months. What a weird guy. Oh, this is terrible. Peter, what are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna sneak in. Well, we better get there soon. I wanna be there for opening night of Karate Kid 5. <laughs> I'm so glad to finally be back home in Quahog. Although I will miss Italy, you made the trip very special for me, Peter. And we met a lot of great people. Hey, what about that couple we met in Amalfi? Did you get their number? I did. You ready? Yep. Okay, it's 19-565-55018-016-8945-2. Well, I can't wait to see the rest of the world with you guys. <laughs>